Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody is okay today. It's Thursday, July 11th. Uh, currently it's 71 degrees. High today is 87. Uh, chance of rain, big 1%. I don't think anything's going to happen with that. And winds at 2 mile per hour. Today will be Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. So... He took last week off because of the fourth and we got some great stuff as, as usual to try so definitely check that out tonight what's for dinner we didn't have the sub sandwich yesterday shock but um we had this uh we wanted this that vegetable fried rice we got at walmart that haul will come out uh pretty soon uh and uh, i got some orange chicken with the fried to go with the vegetable fried rice and some chicken egg rolls so we, we were just wanting that so we had that so tonight we're going to have the sub sandwich and the rest of the potato salad that we got at uh, walmart as well okay i have a taste test today we went to grocery outlet yesterday and you know i i told joy before we went and we both agreed that we just don't need a ton of stuff so instead of a massive haul, <laughs> we have a huge haul. It's not quite where I would call it massive or anything, but it was a it was a big haul, and we got some amazing deals as usual. Um, that'll come out in a few days as well. Uh, but here's one of the things that we got: uh, this Nestle Sensations Kellogg's Eggo Maple Waffle Flavored Milk. You believe that? And it was a dollar down there. I don't know how much it would be anywhere else. But I uh, wanted to try it out. And uh, Joy and uh, Logan want to try it out as well. Let me, hold on, let me get a little. Okay, got me a little glass. That's one of those I think had jelly or something in it one time. We've had that one a long time though. I don't remember how old that is. Pretty old. Uh, could be 30 or 40 years. You know, if her mom had it, if it was one that her mom gave us, It'd be even probably older than that. But anyway, okay, if you drink the whole bottle, which I'm not, uh, 250 calories, uh, total fat 6%, saturated fat 15%, no trans fat, 7% cholesterol, 8% sodium, 15% carbs, 3% fiber, 36% uh, sugars, 28% protein. It's got 14 grams of protein. That's real good. Vitamin D, 20%, calcium, 35%, vitamin A, 25%, and potassium, 15%. I don't, I may have already said that. Uh, no high fructose corn syrup either in it, and it's gluten-free. Um, so, for the nutrition facts, it, you know, that's, that's a lot of calories, really, if you drink the whole thing. Um, I would look at this as more of a treat than something I would, you know, drink a lot of. Um, so, uh, and then that and the carbs, 15% and sugar, uh, 36%. Lots of protein though, if you, you know, we're on the go or something, that, that'd give you a lot of protein. Um, I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5 for Nutrition Facts. It's got some things that are good for you, such as a protein, and some things that aren't as good for you. So I'm going to go with that, 3.75 out of 5. Okay, I'm going to get this seal off. I'm just tearing the whole thing up. Okay, and put some in here. Oh gosh, I smell, it smells like uh, maple. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> It really tastes like um, a maple waffle. Wow, that is really good. It really is. I love maple. And it tastes like, I don't know how they did it, but it, it really kind of has the taste of it when you take a bite of waffle with maple syrup on it. Unbelievable. 
Okay. I would give that a 5 out of 5 for taste. I love it. If you love maple, you're going to love it too. So let me go give this to them in there. Okay, Joy loves it. I figured she would, and Logan hasn't tried it yet, but I know he will. I know he'll love it. He likes everything I do. Okay, so yeah, it was a good one. Well, come on now, cooperate. All right, on jokes of the day today, let me get a drink of coffee. Uh-oh, some on the... Okay, Jack. Do you know how long fish should be cooked? Jill, probably the same as short fish. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> you don't think of it that way until the, you hear the other answer. Then you think, okay, do you know how long fish should be cooked? <laughs> All right, two roofers without a ladder is what this one's called. The other one was called cooking fish. Two roofers, Larry and Joe, were on the roof laying tile when a sudden wind gust came and knocked down their ladder. I have an idea, said Larry. We'll throw you down and then you can pick up the ladder. What do you think, what do you think that I'm stupid, replied Joe? I have an idea. I'll shine my flashlight and you can climb down on the beam of light. Larry wasn't having it. What, do you think that I'm stupid? You'll just turn off the flashlight when I'm halfway down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the thought of the day, we've been having some from these, like, old Greek philosophers. Uh, we had Socrates, I think, the other day, and there was one, uh, Plato or something, one day. This one's from Aristotle. Uh, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Okay. And... Got a uh, trivia time here, and let me see if it is, yeah, I gotta press take quiz. Come on, it's kind of slow. What, uh, what vegetable was once known as a love apple? Cucumber, avocado, radish, tomato. Well, a cucumber is not shaped like an apple. I mean, you know, why would you call a cucumber, uh, you know, love that? Anyway, I already know what it is, but the answers were cucumber, radish, avocado, tomato. It's tomato. Uh, the French called the tomato the palm d'amour or the amore or the love apple for their belief that the exotic tomato had aphrodisiac powers. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do British people call French fries? Clips? Really? Brits? Trips? Chips? British people, and I know, I know this, you know, I, I've watched a lot of uh, YouTube videos, you know, from England and th places, you know, British, and it's, uh, Fish and chips. Chips. Yes. In the UK and Ireland, what people in America call French fries are called chips and are famously served alongside fried fish. Mm -hmm. Typically eaten with salt and vinegar. Hmm. Variation range from chips and curry to meaty chips and gravy. Mm. Okay. Which of these is the main ingredient in salsa? Oh. Pomodoro, okay, uh, mint, chicken, anchovies, tomato. Well, I would think, you know, the main ingredient in any salsa would be tomato. Yes. Uh, salsa al pomodoro is a sauce that perfectly embodies Italian taste, simple and appetizing. It is a Mediterranean condiment par excellence. Which type of vegetable is a palma di terra? Pumpkin, sweet potato, 
carrot potato. Now, you know some of these um, uh, bags of vegetables they'll have like a like a French. You know, it'll say potatoes, and then in French it'll say something else. And I know it. I know that the palm p o m m e had something to do with that, but I don't know if it was a regular potato or the D terry or whatever means that it's a sweet potato. So I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with potato though. That's right, potato. In France, what we call French fries are called palm pommes frites or fried apples. What? Fried apples? Pomus is a word for apples, and pomus de terre, or apples of the earth, are potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good reasoning, but you know. What alcoholic beverage is traditionally made from potatoes? Beer, vodka, whiskey, wine. Um, I believe that's vodka. Yes, the most notable kind of alcohol made from potatoes is vodka, although are those sometimes considered an inferior base ingredient, potato-based spirits like vodka still exist and are great. Five right, so far none wrong. Which of these potato chips packaged in a can were invented in 1968? I don't know what kind of... Which of these potato chips... I don't know what kind of chips those are. We call these, we call potato chips, chips. Uh, Charles Chips, Sun Chips, Stacks, Pringles. Well, you know, um, Charles Chips came in a can and then Joy's mom used to get Charles Chips. And you would just reuse that can each time. They would just, you'd give it to them. They'd go out to the truck and refill your can. And they were fresh. Let me tell you, they were the freshest and best chips I ever had. But I've seen other um, questions on other ones we've had about Pringles. And I remember saying, wow, Pringles has been around since 1968. So I'm going with that. Yes, but Charles Chips is probably really technically they they were in a can, you know, and I guarantee I about guarantee you they were around before Pringles. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure. After seven long years of development, Pringles premiered in Evansville, Indiana, in 1968. Uh, they were a flop until the 80s, but okay, it doesn't say anything about any of the other ones. I'd like to know more about Charles Chips. Um, which of these ingredients is used to make pesto sauce? Ham, avocado, bacon, basil. Well, if pesto sauce had bacon in it, I'd be probably having some pesto sauce. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not just, for some reason, I'm not really crazy about pesto sauce. I just not. I'm sure it's good on certain things, though. But anyway, I want to say basil. I do like basil, however. The most popular variety of pesto now is made by crushing basil, garlic, pine nuts, olive oil, and some hard cheese in a food processor or a blender. You know what? That sounds pretty good, though. Wow, I mean, basil, garlic, pine nuts, olive oil, and some hard cheese. That, that, that sounds good. I don't think I've ever tried any like that. But there are many varieties of pesto, like sun-dried tomato pesto or kale pesto. Okay. Uh, American-style hash browns. Hi, honey. Kitty over there. American-style hash browns are made of what vegetable? Really? This one everybody should get, I think. Potatoes, carrots, cabbages, yams. You know, I, you know, I guess technically you could make hash browns with with uh, yams maybe but anyway I think everybody knows you know especially if you've been to uh, Waffle House smothered 
what? Smothered, covered, and uh, smothered, covered, and something. <laughs> I can't remember the last one. Uh, okay, but it's potatoes. Hash browns, also spelled hashed browns, are a popular American and British breakfast food consisting of finely chopped potatoes that have been fried until brown. Uh, it's starting in breakfast meal menus in New York City in the 1890s. Wow, okay. Eight right, none wrong. Uh, which cheese is a typical topping of the margarita? And that looks actually pretty good. Margarita, um, mozzarella, parmesan, cheddar, hamburger cheese. I never heard of hamburger cheese. I've heard of Limburger cheese. Never heard of hamburger cheese before. Have you? Well, I mean, you know, it's just look at it, and to me, that says mozzarella. Yeah. Pizza, margarita. Uh, is a typical Neapolitan pizza made with San Marzano tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, fresh basil, salt, and extra virgin olive oil. One more, everybody. Uh, which of these movies featured a potato farm on Mars? I know this. If I get it, yeah. Martian Land, The Martian, John Carter, Total Recall. Okay. Um, it was, uh, and it was, um, oh, it was Mark Wahlberg. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think that's who was in that movie. I think. And um, it was a very good movie, I thought. And he did some ingenious things because he had to to survive. It was The Martian. John Carter, that's a good movie, too. I'd like to see that one again. Total Recall, I've seen probably ten times. Uh, yep. With uh, Arnold. So it's The Martian. Yep. The Martian is a science fiction film directed by Ridley Scott. It's Matt Damon. Okay, I get them confused sometimes. Starring Matt Damon. Okay, yeah. I do. I don't know why I get them confused, though. But yeah, I remember now, Matt Damon, uh, Drew Goddard adapted the screenplay from the 2011 model The Martian novel, The Martian by Andy Weir. The film depicts an astronaut's lone struggle to survive on Mars after being left behind in the efforts of NASA to rescue him and bring him home to Earth. Uh, the protagonist, I'm reading this because it is interesting, you should see this movie if you haven't. The protagonist's immediate concern is food. And being a botanist, he creates a garden inside the hab habitat using Martian soil, fertilized with the crew's bio-waste, and manufactures water from leftover rocket fuel. He then cultivates potatoes using whole potatoes reserved for a special Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, so he did real well. Um, so anyway, I got perfect score today. I hope you did too. Uh, I like this one today. Um, and I hope you did. And if you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning and a great day. And definitely check out Logan's awesome snack reviews tonight, everyone. We'll have a great show. Bye, everyone, and God bless.